Hello everyone, my name is Mutual. Welcome back to the Long War 2. So <laughs> the introductions are getting worse and worse by yeah, by every episode, so there's that. Uh, yeah, not much has been happening in the mutant autopsy will be ready soon. We are still broke as um, yeah. And uh, and and generally we are kinda okay, but not really, if that makes sense, because we are uh, having some tough time dealing with these missions. I'm just thinking here, we have a jailbreak going on. Where should I go next? We can't really expand, we don't have the intel and we don't have the contact availability anyway. Setting course for Eastern United States. I think I will scan for here until the advanced strength rises uh, so high that it's not These sensible. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So we got us something called Vipro Blade, which is probably the first blade upgrade, and it sounds like it's straight from the Kotor uh, games, the Knights of the Old Republic, I believe. Or where the Vibra Blades? Something like that. And uh, yeah, the new Proving Ground Project Plasma Grenade and Tactical Vest. Oh, is that a knife? Actually, we still can't uh, really. I should really stop going all in with my monies, so we can actually do some <laughs> meaningful research. Huh? I guess we are gonna do one more out of sea. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material. I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Yeah. Guess we will finish off that. I don't know if you, how many faceless bodies you will actually even get, because I don't think you get to keep the items from retaliation missions. Sorry, there was a bug walking on my hand. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Uh, okay, back to the mission, huh? Those jump scares. Jesus. Oh, uh, hmm. I mean, I guess I could check out the new stuff, how costly it is to make. Plasma grenades, so we need mutant corpses, we don't have mutant corpses. And a lot of supplies, huh. Oh, the tactical vest actually requires mutant corpses as well. I guess those will be coming commodity very soon, I suppose. I mean, uh, I'm assuming that we will see more and more mutants. Ah, okay, let's just continue. Keep scanning this. I probably do want to keep somebody. Oh, serial, huh? I've been, I've, I've been missing slick on the missions. But I think that serial is definitely worth worth going for. Yeah. Hmm. I wish uh, I still wish there was a just a normal logbox because I saw that uh, we got recruits on some zone. Still don't know where. I should probably invest more in the. Non intel jobs here, but I guess I will do that after uh, the advanced strength gets lower. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. 
While I recognize that you've been placed in a difficult situation, Commander, our continued failings over the last month have really? left many in the Resistance concerned. Nothing short of a fast improvement will do. I mean, I guess, uh, I guess it's kind of bad. Yeah, I suppose. Problem is, uh... What? Uh, I don't deploy advanced exoskeletons, and that sounds fun. We should find a way to counter those as well. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard, I would say. Uh, what was that? All right, it's got menace is ready to go, huh? I think it's this. Uh, do I just wanna do it? Yeah, I suppose. We'll save the 15 hours for maybe something else. This was the mission with a uh, small squad. Against extremely light, I suppose. So We'll see how that goes. And it's a small squad, uh, which means five guys. So not that small, really. It's actually probably average size. I don't feel that confident with five-man squads. We'll see how it works out. Mm, I think the six-man... Six-man squad is... Uh, uh, yeah, the standard size. Pretty much. We'll see. Overall, I'm still not sure where we are in the general progress. I guess... Uh, I, I, I mean, I feel we are doing fine, but on the other hand, we might be doing just terrible, but I have no indication of how to judge this campaign, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird. It's so, it's so long campaign that it feels very very long I would say is the feeling I I'm getting from this long campaign um, yeah normally you'll be at the end of the campaign at 40 or so missions well I guess something like 60 missions probably average on legend so this is the standard jailbreak we have our reinforcements coming there's a lot of guys in the same area. Oh, that extraction zone, though. What the hell, man? Oh, that's nasty. Oh my god, that's that's a goddamn disaster. I, I actually, I'm actually just tempted to go and grenade that right away. But I guess it could get even worse because we are not on the end of the map. And uh, I'm fairly certain it won't actually locate all the way over here. But yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Moving into position. I guess we really, really need to dash. Okay, so triple sidewinders right away. Should probably try to sneak around them. Although, I guess that's not that far away. It just feels like that. It's going to still be something like a five turns walk to here. So this is highly, highly risky. Got it covered. Listen. I think I will try to avoid them. At and I again. Again, I apparently forgot the I used the loot indicator. The motor. I guess I could uh, kind of scout ahead. Roger that. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Hmm, they're kind of coming into our way. This is a 
quite a nasty pack to leave leave behind your as well but I mean if they're going this way I think they will walk into us eventually anyway so it's probably just best to deal with them and be done with that I could actually go for uh, oh, what's stuff here maybe moving to designated position stop turning around man you're scaring me I think I will uh, leave a terminator as is and uh, put everyone else on all what and maybe maybe open up with volumes here just because he has that uh, double shot Opening up with a grenade would be nice as well. I guess I have the frost bomb. Maybe that is the play, actually. I don't think I will get better frost bomb anyway. I need to get a little bit closer. Probably can't throw the grenade from that angle. Or I could just drop the incendiary grenade as well. <laughs> but yeah, the frost bomb is very hard to use in a sensible way, I suppose. Unless you're fighting the rulers, of course. So I think this is a this is a good opportunity to use the frost bomb. I just need to f find a spot where to use it from. Yeah, let's let's get this done. That actually allows us to take shots and move with our guys, which is also very cool. Although, I guess these movements will be <laughs> kind of tricky. It should be fine. What's this? Uh, this good signal, okay. Not the best. Sorry, I was just adjusting uh, some headphones there. Five damage is a little bit lackluster, but. Well, it should be fine. They should be frozen. Anyway. That's right. Found something. I was hoping I could uh, deal with them or just right away. So I could actually move my guy ahead. Without revealing him. Or her, in this case. Do you wanna scout ahead? I should be a little bit Understood. careful. Moving out. Okay. Oh, this is that. Uh, <laughs> I've just recognized this map. I've been hiding in this corner very, very often. Actually, probably every time I've played this map. On my way. For whatever reason. Just wanted to scout ahead in case we found new enemies, but it looks clear, so... I guess I should be a little bit careful with my moments. I can grab the loot next turn anyway, so... You can pretty much catch up. I'm going. I think I will try the shot with the dirt. It should be, yeah, it should be 100%. 
Just because he has a huge creep size. Can just dash. Affirmative. Scan on I guess I will. I'm on it. Watch. Overwatch. Hmm. How do I get inside without breaking something? I guess you really cannot from this angle, huh? I'm thinking we are just gonna walk inside this building. Say no more, my lord. Okay, definitely seems like it would be fine, so let's pick up the I loot. doing with this what do I do with you Sean check out the roof I could check out the roof Orders confirmed. it Let's also go. could be very dangerous move now that I once again uh, think about it in a bit late but it looks fun uh, because of this all these staircases she can uh, still uh, help in down below so I think uh, it's fine to have her there. Question is, do I want to dash or not? I really don't want to, so out. I'm just gonna take a careful moment. I'm not sure if breaking windows actually attracts the attention in this, this mod. Covering now. Let's have some more watch. Oh, here comes the big boys. Professor is in a very bad spot. Oh, that was a miss. Hopefully, they don't get a shot. They did it again. I'm feeling the FPS drop once again. <sighs> hmm. There is actually that guardian in the back lines as well. Definitely try some pistol trickery here. Or just go for that uh, huge shotgun blast. I do have uh, so many ways to deal with these that guys that I don't actually know how I am going to deal with them. Hmm. <laughs> you don't have a uh, shredding, so I'm gonna no problem, see if I can get a good shot on that guy from this range. It's okay, it's not that great, to be honest. I'm gonna go for it. Good enough, says Dirt. Well, how about that? That makes things a little bit easier. I mean, Pojums can uh, kill this drone, I believe, not with no problems. Maybe I can then. Nobody has actually shredding in this squad. Is that right? It looks, it looks to be the case. I could also just combat protocol that drone. I believe I can single shot it. Yeah. So that's something that something I could do. I'm thinking, uh, should I save the chain shot or not? But I don't think. Uh, I mean, it should be fine to move in the open and then just take the change, change shot. What's the worst case if I miss the change, change shot? It might not be enough to actually kill him because of the two armor he has. Other thing I could just 
go for the shotgun blast, but uh, I don't think Griffin can move close enough. Unless I move... Uh... Okay, let's start with this. I'm gonna trust that we can actually kill this mutant. So now I can just uh, double shotgun it in the face, and I think I will do that. Not a problem. And I suppose I should uh, take the pistol shot to make sure that, or more likely that we actually kill this guy. How much is the damage on those both barrels? Oh yeah, it's been. Uh, Almost got that, that as well. Using the bolt barrels is a, uh, or the shotgun is so rare that you actually get to use it. So it's a good place to use it. Only the best. So we can actually guarantee the kill on the drone with the combat protocol, or this should guarantee it as well as well. Whatever you say, man. I do not want to alert more enemies. Moving so this moment can be a little bit tricky. Uh, you have a free reload, so you don't need to do that. I'm just gonna alert. Yeah, I need to remember that uh, when you are starting to run out of time, they will actually... Start those ridiculous, ridiculous uh, reinforcement drops. I suppose is the word I'm looking for. I was first thinking that I wouldn't go in with Sean because uh, she might get revealed. But maybe this is actually good if we spot the enemies right away. If there are any enemies here. Doesn't seem like it. Mm, I guess I need to hack those drawers open, so... Reaper can do that, hopefully. Uh, this is uh, a little bit scary move here. I'm away! Should have done that first, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just want to prep re uh, or leave rest of my guys in a position where they kind of start the extraction. I think we were... Well, it is kind of dia diagonally. So we kind of need to move uh, into that direction, so... Francis can just stay here. Jesus, now they are gonna be dealing. Ah, uh, that should be fine, I, I think. Any yeah, other just catch up. Go, go, go! Alright, the skull checking, huh? We haven't seen any officers yet, so. Affirmative, covering now. There's that. Do I need Sean to stay here? I don't think I need Good copy. Moving on target. Okay. A simple task. Hack away. And the reinforcements are actually now imminent, so they will come in a couple turns. Small cache of supplies or intel. I think intel is more important right now. It's not 100 percent but it's good enough. And besides, it was 100%, so... No, I mean, not 100%, but large gas of intel. There I go, contradicting myself. I think I can do that hack remotely as well, so I'm gonna start moving. If that is your wish. Back with Reaper. Be able to just open this door. There is actually no door in this. I 
I can just run through with with, with poisons and open this door. Because I, I kind of want to keep uh, Shana hidden as long as possible, I suppose. Double time. Oh shit. The civilian did not spot her, okay. Say, come on, boy. I'm going! Okay. And I guess I will just start running these civilians out. Hmm, I don't know if uh, which one of our guys actually had the ability to hand over the pistol. I don't think it's Azrael and I don't think he has pistol anyway, so... <laughs> But that's a, that's a funny ability. Matthew... Is that all? Okay. Touch it! Watch, watch. Watch. I could try to delay the uh, reinforcements, but I guess I will see when, when they are really close. I think I will uh, end up scaring these civilians away anyway, so maybe I want to see where they run first. They still did not spot Terminator, which is perfect. Rolling. Okay, and yeah, this doesn't look as far away as I thought. Seems doable. But I guess when uh, when uh, if the uh, shit really hit the fan, not a problem. It could have been a way different story. Be fine, just uh, grouping everyone here. Okay, I cannot attack the door anymore, which is kind of shame. Probably should have. I probably should have checked what the reward was for the other door. Damn shame. But not much I can do about it. Just catch up. I guess a lot will be depending on the uh, uh, reinforcements. Reinforcements and when they come and how big they are. Okay, there's a squad coming behind. I really don't like that. Roof access. I guess the closest one is actually this corner, so. Affirmative. Moving out. Maybe I should actually start moving from back to front because that sector was definitely behind us. I don't really wanna stay and fight them if they come from behind of us. Or if they stay behind of us, I suppose is the correct way to say that. They might catch up. Heading out. Maybe I should actually dash. Yeah, that, that probably makes sense. Dash, uh, dash these guys who are behind. Moi, Behind the roof was probably yelling once again. No problem, boss. 
don't really care about killing the enemies if you can just outrun them. Got it covered. Hmm. Visionals. Scanning. I think there was one of sectored behind us, so. or that's what I heard. I think. Okay. Looks fine. I can handle that. We have still uh, plenty of time left, so. Bad sushi, chef. I'm not gonna rush Good it. Thing. I'm just thinking this is this was not uh, not the region where we just lost a bunch of resistance uh, people, so it's not going to help in that regard. I wish this was in the same region because Covering now. if we manage to save all these people, it's it's a lot of guys. Overwatch. Oh, we still had one guy behind. I guess just in case I could check all the way back here. It's all fine, okay. We are just gonna dash away. At least the I'm going. VIPs. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I kinda like this mission. I mean this uh, this is a... Uh, I don't know why why these missions feel so so different. I mean sure the previous missions were very different because there was the retaliations and you know Avenger down and all that stuff, but but what or maybe it has been a uh, actually quite a long time when we last had this kind of mission more like traditional infiltration so maybe that's why it Not a problem. feels fresh uh, you can just go away VIP secure and in position for evac status confirmed we've secured a civilian contact on overwatch Je reste en observation. on overwatch you can go away as well. Scanning. Hush. We'll see if that bot ever catches up. I don't think they will. So I'm gonna assume that some of our guys still cannot go. So maybe I will, I will have to wait one more turn, yeah. Definitely so. It should be fine to dash, right? Seems doable. Just moving dirt away. Location confirmed. Here we go. Here we go. Affirmative. Nice atmospheric mission. We've secured a civilian contact. You can just uh, watch. Ruined to overwatch. Ça bouge dans la zone. 
What I really like is that we actually did this with uh, Alien reinforcements inbound. with the four-man squad That's or five-man squad. I guess That's it's technically four-man because <laughs> Sean only scored it and uh, never took part in the fight. But absolutely. Well, we yeah we only run into two bots, so I guess that's <laughs> that's also helping a bit. But yeah, this is this is nice. I like this mission. Just in time. Oh, what next? Status confirmed. Hell Slayer, yeah. Flawless mission for a change. Haven't had those in ages. Nobody actually got shot. That's that's pretty cool. I guess that uh, that that freeze grenade in the beginning might have helped us also, because killing vipers with Overwatches is uh, kind of hard because of all that dodging and and then their defense, possible defense. I don't know if sidewinders have defense, but anyways, those are kind of hard to kill just by shooting. So. That probably made it a little bit easier than than it would have been without the freeze grenade. But yeah, I like I like this mission. The last few missions have been such a painful missions. That it's nice to have a good old, well, easy infiltration, I suppose. Yeah, nice. Professor's, professor seems enjoying the success as well. I don't think we picked any level ups during the mission, but maybe we got one after it. That would be nice. I told the troops to expect the best, and oh, that's yeah. what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. Huh. Tech surgeon. <laughs> Tech surgeon. Oh god, I can't pronounce anything. Uh, gain, uh, gain one plus one damage on critical hits. For every two enemies you can see up top. Yeah, implacable, nice, grazing fire. Huh. I guess the grazing fire would make a lot of sense with the uh, ranger. It would make even more sense if we had... Uh... Then again, so does the implacable. Because you can get the kill with the first shot. And then move and then get the second shot with the light em up. On the other hand, you can graze with double shot. It would, uh, I would pick the grazing fire if I had uh, had uh, had the uh, what's it called? It uh, can't remember the one where you shred enemies' armor, right? Shredding. <laughs> I don't know if that actually works with works with grazing fire though. But uh, the implacable is kind of interesting choice. I think I will go for that because there are so many times when you end up in a situation where the second shot is uh, kind of wasted because you cannot move between the two shots. So that that actually might work very well. Got one advance here to go. And 25 intel from the hack. And Theodore Rogues is the... I guess it's pronounced something like Ruat, I, I don't... <laughs> Ruat! <laughs> yeah, probably sounds like a French name to me. Not going to pronounce it like that. I'm gonna pro pronounce it ro ro Rogues. Rocks. <laughs> yeah, okay. Enough of that. Enough of that. So we have our new rookie, and he's very bad at uh, sighting, so I think I will train him up to be something else. Very slow. 
kind of outreach on our other. So it's pretty good shooting. Sniper would be nice, but I mean, he would be nice, as nice as a sniper, but we have too many snipers as he is. Ranger. Ranger would have been bad. Right now, I feel like we have uh, enough of pretty much everything. Maybe specialist actually. We only have a, uh, but we have four. I mean, three specialists. <sighs> yeah, maybe specialist would be fine. Okay, let's actually do that. Uh, terror, you will be. Specialist. Nice. So yeah, the new spark will be ready very very soon ish. We'll see if that <laughs> if he will survive any missions. It's gonna be well interesting, I suppose. Viper autopsy is still a couple days off. I'm still a little bit worried. About this mission, we might actually lose uh, something important here. I don't know. One day, not gonna happen. All right, Rogue actually got the jammer skill done, and she cannot continue her right now because she's lacking rank. So I need to level her up. <laughs> All those hyper-reactive peoples. Okay. I'm actually gonna see if we can uh, train any other officers. Mm, is this the officer training? Yeah. Spooky could uh, level up, I suppose. Yeah, why not? She spent uh, probably over half of, half of her time with us uh, in training, so... All allies within common range of the officer gain plus 10% to hit on reaction fire. Huh. Or defilade. Soldiers within common range of the officer receive plus finds bonus to defense while provided by cover. I think that re reaction fire is probably better. I would love if it was uh, all fire. Although, five bonus to defense while we're provided by cover. I think the high cover is 50, right? <laughs> you would think that after playing a new uh, recording, something like 13 seasons on YouTube, I would know these basic readings. But um, my memory is actually so bad. Well, it's not that bad, but. But what? I haven't checked it really. I think it's 50 full cover bonus, but it could be something slightly different. And I think low cover bonus is 30. Again, it could be 25. I could be totally wrong. But uh, I'm just thinking how much the 5 is. It's not that much. Really. So I think the plus 10% on the overwatch shot is much better. I'm gonna pick that. Uh, I would love to have a... Is this the time to purchase this? 6 or 7 soldiers will take less time. I think I should... Uh, I should... Uh, I should consider this very very carefully. I, I mean, I should consider taking it, because I'm fairly certain I should take it. Okay, we're actually building a spark. I should save some money for those research projects. But if I go for that... I don't have to go for it now, actually. Yeah, I need to go for that when the next infiltration will pop up. So I'm gonna think about that between the episodes and... Um, Probably forget about it completely, but uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next one because this episode will end here. So, see you guys there. Bye.